What's up, guys? Hope everything is well with you all. So I just realized that I never post my art videos on my channel, so I thought I would start posting. I have recently become obsessed with using art resin. I love the shine and the thickness and the luster that it gives to my artwork. Um, but I have also found that I'm more of a painter and I'm still working on how to use resin and how to master and manipulate resin. So I have decided I'm more so into painting my background and then using resin in different layers on top of my painting. And I really wanted to do a furniture piece. So I got this table, which just happens to have a like hollowed out top to it. And so as you can see, I'm actually painting a sunset. It's just a picture that I got from Google. Um, I don't even know who the photographer is. I wish I did. But I just really wanted like a lavender, purplish, pinkish sunset. You know, it's, I think this guy is really beautiful when it looks like that. Um, so that's what I'm painting here. And I recorded me painting it a few days. It took me like, I think about two weeks to complete it. So as you can see, I'm just painting all the layers. Now, at this point, you can see I have finally started to add the resin. So what I did is I did a clear layer on top of my painting, and then I actually went in with different colors of resin to add the effects of different layers of resin. It'll make more sense when I get to the end of this video and you can see what I mean. But basically I did a painting from my first layer and then I did an overall clear layer of resin. And then as you can see, I'm adding purple resin and pink resin and basically just different colors to, so that when you look at it, it looks like you're looking at different layers. I wanted the clouds to appear as separate from the rest of the painting. And I wanted the highlighted part of the sea to appear as separate from the rest of the painting because I wanted it to really stick out the most. So that's what I'm doing on the, over the next few days. I actually did this this one layer of resin and then I actually ended up doing two separate layers of resin um, as you will see shortly. I did a separate layer of resin for the sky by taping out, taping off the ocean after it dried for about three days. I let it cure for about 72 hours. So as you can see right here, I'm just doing the sky part and I actually taped that off and created a barrier so that the resin wouldn't go into the ocean part of the painting. I hope you can tell. Um, and then here you can see I've peeled that part off and now I'm doing the ocean part. I only actually poured that resin in the ocean part. I wanted to perfect the ocean a little bit more. So I did add some more colored resin, some pinks and some purples and some blues. And I actually even added a little glitter because I wanted to, I wanted the glitter to reflect, you know, how the ocean reflects the sky and the sun. I think it's really beautiful. And I was actually really excited to do this because I've never separated layers of resin on like one surface before. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys try that. And then here I finally was satisfied. So I added my final layer of resin and I just added a little bit of bright yellow resin across the bottom of that horizon because I really wanted the sun to pop out a little bit more. But that's it. The top layer is completed. And I'm letting that care for about 72 hours. So far, it's been about 24. 
the reason why I use the flame on the resin is because you want to pop the bubbles. There's always bubbles in your resin. So it's really important to go over it with that with that flame to just knock all those bubbles out. If you look really closely from different angles, there's bubbles. You have to knock those out because they won't go away when it cures. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any tips or tricks, please let me know. Comment below, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.